Hello everybody, this is Chris and welcome to the long-awaited, highly requested tutorial video on how to record PC gameplay using your Elgato Game Capture HD with game audio. Now if this is the first time that you are watching one of my videos, I highly suggest you click on either of the two links in the top two corners of your screen. They'll lead you to two other tutorial videos that I made, one on how to record Elgato Game Capture HD PC gameplay and also how to do live commentary with the Elgato. I highly recommend you check those two videos out. But without further ado, let's get into this. Now before I actually start talking about how to record the game audio and put it onto your gameplay, I'm going to once again go over how to actually record your PC gameplay using your Elgato. Now the first thing, well you're going to need a few things here. One, you're going to obviously need your computer, which is what you're playing on. Then you're going to need your Elgato along with your USB cords and your HDMI cord. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is take one end of the HDMI cable and plug it into your computer. This is where the video feed is going to run through. It's going to run through this HDMI and then you're going to plug the other end of the HDMI into the Elgato so that the feed goes from the computer into the Elgato. It's just as if you had say your PS3 or Xbox and you plug in the HDMI there and you're sending the feed to the Elgato that way. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab the USB cable, plug it into the HDMI out end of your Elgato, and then plug the other end of your USB cable into the computer. Now I have some live, well not live, but I have some real life footage here of me trying to do it one handed so you guys get an understanding of how to do it. And yes I know my camera quality is not the best, but it'll have to do. So I'm just showing you guys what it looks like in real life since in my last video when I was using a little diagram that I made on paint uh, some of you didn't really quite understand how it worked so I'm hoping this will help you understand and uh, here's a picture of the final product of what it should look like it's pretty simple actually it's basically you're sending the video feed from your computer into the Elgato and back to your computer again and back to the Elgato program so you can record the gameplay now before you get all this going you know you want to have your Elgato program open and you're going to want to click on the little settings icon that is next to the picture of the Elgato. And I'll have it highlighted on the screen right now for you guys so you know where it is. But you want to click on that and you want to change the settings to those shown on the screen right now. Uh, you want your game device to be the Xbox 360. And you can put the video quality either 720p or 1080p, you know, whatever you want it. Even 1080i I think works too. I'm not quite sure though. I just run the 720p, but then you also want to make sure, you know, you want to put your video quality to be the best, just so, you know, it's the best video quality. And so, you know, check mark the top box and choose all the other settings that I have right there for you guys. You don't have to worry about any of the other tabs. Those are just, you know, personal preferences for you if you want, you know, color correction on your video or whatnot. Now, if there's any of you out there that like doing live PC commentaries and you still want to do that, Right now I'm going to tell you that you're not going to be able to use Audacity for this because that's actually how we're going to record the game audio. So if you still want to do live commentary, there's now a new built-in live commentary feature built into the Elgato program. And I'm showing you right now on the screen how you can get to it. And you want to make sure you select whatever microphone you have plugged in and you can do live commentary over the gameplay. Now the thing that's you know different with doing it with the Audacity is that the live commentary like your voice and the gameplay are going to be combined as one file and you can't move around the commentary throughout the gameplay or whatever basically it's just one file and it's not two separate files that you have to hook up together so it is a convenience for some people and for others they want the two files separate and it's not a convenience so now we are finally ready to get into how to record the game audio for your PC gameplay um, now for some reason, when you're recording your PC gameplay with your Elgato, there's no game sound or game audio to go along with it. I don't know why, I'm not even going to try to figure it out. I'm sure there's some technical explanation for it, but we're not going to worry about that because there's a way to record your game audio separately from your Elgato PC gameplay. But uh, anyway, yeah, basically I went around looking on some websites, some, you know, some forums, some articles online, and I found this one right here is pretty interesting. It was how to record your Windows PC audio. And yeah, there's some pictures and a step-by-step -step process it has on this website and how to do this. So if you guys are confused in this video, I highly recommend you go check that out. It was very helpful for me. But uh, yeah, anyways, getting into this here. 
The first thing you want to do is right click on the sound icon in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and up should pop up a list of options and you're going to want to click on recording devices. Now after you click on recording devices another little menu should pop up and it should be listing the recording devices on your computer. Uh, for me there's three of them there could be you know a list of two, three, four, you know whatever you have plugged into your computer at the time there should at least be one or two. Now some of them might be missing and not being appearing on your screen so what you're gonna do is right click on the empty space there and you're gonna check mark show disabled devices and show whatever other devices there are to show so yeah there might be some hidden devices on that little list there that you can't see so you want to you obviously want to see them because that's what you're going to be using so anyway you're going to select the one I have here and go to properties and make sure you set it as the default device down at the bottom there's a little option thing there you want to make sure it's default and after you select that you're going to hit OK and now you're going to open up the audacity audio program now if you don't know what that is again it's in one of my past videos but I'll also leave a link in the description of this video on how to get the Audacity program. Now you're going to want to select the microphone options and select the stereo mix. I believe that's what it's called. Yes, it's right there on the screen for you guys. And now you're basically ready to record your game audio. You're going to hit that record button up there and as you can see I'm testing it right now. I'm hitting the volume there and you know how it makes that little beep sound every time you're testing the audio and as you can see it's recording the beeps. So basically yeah you're gonna record your PC gameplay then you're gonna set this up and hit record to record the game audio and afterwards you're gonna put it all together you're gonna open up your video editor program whether it be VideoPad, whether it be Sony Vegas, uh, Adobe After Effects I think you can use that too but uh, VideoPad's free by the way I'll have a link in the description for that as well uh, I have it in some previous videos too but that's what I use because it's free and it's pretty simple so once you get into your video editor, you're going to want to take the video file that you created and you're going to want to take the audio file that you created and combine the two so that they match. And voila, you have your gameplay with audio. There it is. That's, that's all. That's it. It's your PC gameplay with your audio. I know it might seem like it takes a little bit of effort, but it's really not that bad once you get used to it. Uh, I hope this helped you guys out a lot, and if there's any other questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section down below. And now I normally don't ask for like goals anymore, but if we could get 10 likes on this video, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. You know, I think this will help out a lot of people because a lot of people have been asking me about this. So yeah, I really hope this helped you guys out, and please leave a like and also subscribe if you want more tutorial videos. And I don't know if I'll ever upload too many PC videos, but if you guys want to see PC gameplay, you know, please just let me know. I might go ahead and just do it for the fun of it. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.